Now that we understand what DNS is and what the purpose of it is, we need to talk about the specific types of DNS records. Now, a record is just an entry under DNS that shows what maps to what. The most common types of DNS records that you're gonna to have to deal with are something called A records and MX records. So like I showed you before on dnschecker.com, the A record, all that does is links the domain name, whatever the business name of your website is or whatever the website name is, to the IP address of the server. That's all an A record does. If you click on this drop down here, you can see all the different types of DNS records. Don't get confused by it. Like I said, you really are only going to have to deal with A records and MX records. So A records link domain names to IP addresses. MX records, what they do are link up domain names to email addresses. So if you ever wanted to have something like, um, I don't know, it's my, my website name is brycejmatheson.com. If I wanted to have an email address that's admin at brycejmatheson.com, the server needs to know where it needs to send email to. So under your domain name, you'd have to set up a record for A, and you'd also have to set up a record for MX if you want email. If I select MX under my, uh, my domain name right here, it can't find anything because I don't have any email set up under my domain name. Now let's take Facebook for an example again. So if we put Facebook in here and then hit search, you can see that the MX records that it returns is this address right here, which is smtpin.vvv.facebook.com. I don't know what that is, but that is the address that people want to send mail to. So if there's an email address that's dave at facebook.com, your computer needs to know where to send email to. So it will send it to this smtpinvvv facebook.com. Again, we don't, we don't care. Humans, we don't care. We just want the email to route wherever it is. But that's kind of an in-depth dive. You don't really need to know what the nitty gritty details are. But all you need to know is that an A record maps the domain name to the website. MX records map the domain name to email addresses. I wanted to show you a live example of how we map domain names to IP addresses or domain names to email addresses. So if you look at my screen, you can see here that this is where my name servers are hosted. I'm gonna talk about that in just a sec, don't worry. But if you scroll down, you can see that my domain name is www.brycejmatheson.com and it directs to this IP address, 68662162.21. You might be asking, where do I get my IP address? Whenever you buy your server, it's gonna give you the IP address. No worries, it'll show you right where that is. Um, and I'll, I'll walk you through that too as well. So no worries there. Um, you'll notice that I have two entries. So one is with a www and the other one is without a www. Two servers and two computers, uh, a domain name with www and without www are two different domain names. So here I want both people to be re routed to this IP address whenever they go to either or with the www or not. If I come back here, I can look at a couple other different domain names. So here's, um, I don't know, what's a good one. So here's a, here's a car detailing website that I built for somebody a little while back. You can see here that here's the A record. And again, www points to 68.66.216.21, which is my server. So it's really not that confusing. You take the domain name after you've purchased it, link it to the IP address, done. Okay, now here's another company that I host websites for. So they have both A records, which are right down here, and they also have MX records, which we talked about earlier, is their email. So whenever somebody sends an email to john at greengoatdotes.com, what it does is DNS is going to tell where that email needs to go. So it will send it to mxb.mailgon.org. Doesn't matter, I know it doesn't matter where it sends it to, um, whoever your client is, they'll probably tell you where they have their email hosted. Um, but this is how you set up the records. 